Hey guys, this is Jay Calderon with Jay Unboxing here giving you a personal prediction for Vasily Lomachenko versus Richard Comey. And as always, this is just my personal take. Yours can be left down in the comments section below. We'd love to hear them all. Starting off with some fight info here, as mentioned, we have Loma vs. Comey, which will be taking place in New York's Madison Square Garden, airing live on ESPN. This will be taking place in the lightweight division with no titles on the line. And it's one of the best non-title fights of 2021, with two former champions looking to get thrown right back into the mix at 135 pounds. And of course, a win will do just that. And a loss really does the opposite. It could mean the end of the line for the fighter that gets defeated, so there's plenty at stake. Lomachenko needs to win to remain relevant in a very active and ever-changing lightweight division. Kome is in much the same position, and a big win here could really shoot him into that kind of next level for him in his career. So it's a very, very fun, free TV fight, so why wouldn't we be excited for that? And it should be a good one. And without much more, let's break this one down. Starting with Lomachenko here, I think for him to win, he needs to use angles to keep Komei turning. That's one of Lomachenko's biggest strengths, but it especially works against a guy like Komei, who, quite frankly, has slower feet and at times slower hands, and if Loma can keep him guessing and missing as he moves in and out, as he turns him, as he creates those angles, that's only going to support his chances of success. Now again, he doesn't want to overdo it and potentially risk gassing out later in the fight if it does go into those later rounds, but you want to make sure that you're doing enough of it that Komei never really has a clear and obvious target, and it's something that's going to potentially trouble him as the rounds progress. Now, what I would say, make him step into your right hand. Komei can be caught because he will really overcommit with his own particular shots, his own singular shots, and if you're able to time him and slip his shot and land yours on the inside, that can really potentially hurt Komei, as it'll have that sort of double impact effect of him stepping in while you're throwing and landing that shot. It's something that can be successful for Lomachenko in this fight if he implements it well enough. He has had, Komei being he, has had some unfortunate moments stepping into those kind of big shots, and while Lomachenko certainly isn't the biggest puncher in the world, he has respectable enough pop that if Komei is stepping into the shot, it will have an impact. I would also say use combinations to push Komei back. While you might not have the power to completely make Komei shut off and want to just become defensive, he might not ever come become defensive in this fight, what you want to do is make sure that you're throwing in combinations, bursts, that will push him back. When you push a power puncher back, this does a number of things. Number one, it typically means that they tend to be covering up and not landing power shots of their own. But number two, it tends to take some of the power out of their shots as they're having to get onto the back foot. Again, you don't if you're Lomachenko, want to be doing this all fight because you eventually will force Komei to have to make a choice between throwing with reckless abandon or not. But what you do want to do is do enough of it that you're buying yourself time from when you're having to cut in those corners and create those angles and when you're just scoring points and hurting him with your own shots. Switching over to Komei now, for Komei to win, I think he needs to use the left hand to set up the right hand. Now, the Ghanaian is going to want to throw and land that right hand. That's his bread and butter. That's his money shot. That gives him the best chance of winning this and any other fight that he's in. But he needs to do it with a little more nuance. Lomachenko is a good, good fighter, a great fighter, a solid fighter as it pertains to his defense as well. And just throwing a singular shot headhunting the entire time is going to leave Komei too open to counters, to being made to miss and look a fool at times. So what he's going to need to do is use a little more nuance. Add that left hand in there to kind of throw off the expectations of Loma and potentially throw that right behind it. Could be in the form of a hook, could be in the form of a jab, but it has to be something that allows for the right hand to kind of come in after the blinder and give Komei a better chance of landing a more sophisticated shot. I would also say step in hard when throwing that power shot. Again, one of the things that you're going to have to worry about if you're Komei is the movement of Lomachenko. One thing you can do to kind of help yourself avoid that movement is by stepping in really hard when you're throwing that shot again. Not over committing, not lunging, not coming out over your lead foot, which Komei has done at times, but you're going to want to make sure you're stepping into it, you're cutting off at least one area in which Lomachenko will try to get out. You know, if you're stepping in hard and slightly off to the left, obviously he's not likely to escape to that side, so it allows for you to set up that shot a lot better cut off uh, one of the exits, and of course, close some of that ground so you can land that power shot. 
which does sort of lead to that final point of cut off the ring when Lomachenko moves. You have to be able to do that even when you're not throwing. You have to make sure that your feet are on the outside of his lead foot so that you're giving yourself the best chance of making sure that you're closing off one of those exits and, of course, allowing yourself to corner him eventually. That's where you're going to have the best success. It's very difficult to corner Lomachenko, but if you utilize the correct skills in order to do it and you get him up against those ropes, he's still effective, but he's not nearly as effective as he is when he has more free free range in the middle of the ring. So cutting off that ring by just simply just jabbing, pawing it out there at times, making sure your lead foot's on the outside and making sure that you're cornering him and forcing him up against those ropes will certainly pay dividends for Kome if he can do it enough. Now, in terms of my pick, while Kome has the sort of power that can always change a fight, Lomachenko is a pick I'm going with for this one. Kome is a live dog, but I feel that Lomachenko, if he has the juice left that I expect he does, will have the movement and timing to trouble Kome far too often on the night. Kome may land a few troubling shots, those right hands again in the fight, but Lomachenko will use angles, counter right hands, and combinations to pile up points and win rounds. Perhaps after scoring a flash knockdown, or maybe even two, Lomachenko will cruise to victory after 12 rounds, earning the nod. Lomachenko, via comfortable decision. Now, the betting odds for this fighter are a little bit wide. I think they're probably where they should be. Lomachenko is the more skilled, experienced fighter with more top-level wins and performances. So he's coming in at a minus 400, with Kome coming in at a plus 300. Um, some decent money there for a puncher in a fight against another guy who's, you know, entering his mid-30s in Lomachenko. It's not as though he's this invincible matrix that we once saw when he debuted. So... A decent line for Kome if you felt so inclined to take it. I obviously, based upon my prediction, do not, but that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a bad bet by any means. Uh, it's a decent bet you could take, I guess. In terms of Lomachenko's straight money line, I'm not really finding a great deal of value in it there. I mean, you're, again, you're going to afford a one return. That's never optimal, you know, if you can help it. You can find an over-under, maybe, that gives you some some chance there but quite frankly i expect this fight to go to the scorecard so unless you get some pretty decent odds there there's not a great deal of value as well so not a huge bit of wiggle room here unless you're a big hard diehard you know Kome supporter but nonetheless you got your odds there in any event, my prediction record heading into the weekend is 45, 20, and 4 with 14 exact. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts, predictions, bets, so on and so forth. And, of course, how do you see this fight going? I mean, do you think Lomachenko has a skill that he once possessed and still does now to really take Kome to school? Or does Kome have the power to turn this fight at any moment? And will he do it? Love to hear your thoughts on that, of course. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and follow at jcalderon underscore J-O-B. And you can email me at jonboxing at gmail.com. We'd love to hear from you there. Also, be sure to check out jonboxing.com for schedule, results, betting odds, rankings, all that good stuff. Also, in the description box, I will have a link for a piece I wrote on Vasily Lomachenko that you can check out. Would love and appreciate if you did that as well. And as always, until next time.